Hi guys, good to have you all back on my desk today. I have the Halloween release from Tony, Crafty by Tony. It's finally here, it arrived in my envelope. I am so happy. It's lots of washi tapes, lots of stamps. Now, I know I don't do Halloween, uh, but not all of it is Halloween. No, there's some items in here that are very, very good. <laughs> I'm going to show you later. So, uh, for today's project, I have sort of an idea, but I want to be inspired by what's on my desk. So I'm going to make something with my new goodies. Yeah. So for supplies, who knows? Who knows? First off, I am going to show you the lovely uh, new items. And then we're going to make a something. Well, I'm going to make a something. Let's find out. I'm going to start with the washies. The washies, guys. Uh, Seven, two, four, seven of them. Ooh, that's a lot more than last time. Uh, two of them, my absolute favorite. For sure. Love this. For correspondence, postal, uh, yeah. Red, white, and blue. Every day, all day. And then these two also you can use on various projects whole year through. Now, Tony's washies can be distressed with a distress tool. Can be inked, so you can use them on anything. And then these are more like... Um, Either fall or Halloween. Now, as I mentioned, not really a Halloween type. I am not doing a lot of Halloween projects. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but you could also use this just for um, for fall. But these two must have. Yes, love them. Love them. Now, for the stamps, guys. Um, there, I have four of them. I'm going to keep these two aside. These are the Halloween stamps. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to link Tony's channel below. You need to check her out. She's doing everyday Halloween. So she is putting out a video every day. Oh my God, so much work. I know. Been there, done that. And she's playing with all of this. And she is much better at explaining how you can combine everything. But they're just really cool. Now, because I'm not into Halloween, most of it I, I wouldn't use. But there's some uh, stamps on here that I'm re that I really really like like the number one number two number three love this pharmacy since 1863 all sorts of numbers and such I really like the label the tag stamp here that's really really cool and there's some sort of a texture stamp and some lines yeah old pumpkin in yes of course you can use it for Halloween but you don't need to then the other one with, this is a smaller one. Again, all about Halloween. There are some small names, uh, words on here like caution, po poison, and uh, beware. I could use this, but the rest, honestly, is a little bit too Halloween-y for me. Um, so, yeah, they're really, really cool. If you're into Halloween, this is really cool. This one has some items that, you know, I could use all year through. Okay, then I have these two. Now, this is right up my alley. Honestly, uh, I must admit, Tony and I have been talking about certain stuff and um, we've been sort of brainstorming. What would we want? Told her what I wanted. She made it. So thank you. <laughs> okay, these are label stamps, but they're a little bit more decorative. Yes, so not just the, the, the straight ones. And also they're a little bit distressed. I think I haven't used it yet, guys. I think if you stamp this, it will miss some pieces of ink but that is probably intentional so they look older and distressed now i love everything on here honestly i love everything there are lines on here that you can stamp in the label two of these figure one figure two figure three yeah well i love those you know this a numbers also distress it will miss a little bit of ink here and there but that's just you know the purpose a very tiny a splatter stamp that's so cool then these lines and these arrows uh, sort of a swirly decorative thing so you can make actually your own labels i will combine this with the, every other stamp that she has because you know put here the pharmacy since blah 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 just in here and uh, a swirly bit and combine everything. She thought of everything, guys. Yeah, everything fits in everything. Okay, now for this last one. Okay, I'm going to be dramatic. Could this be the ultimate identity card stamp? I think we're going to find out because this is what I'm going to use today. I absolutely love it i'm gonna unpack it maybe there's less glare on it oh my gosh it's just amazing 
Will it open up? There we go. I even I haven't even opened opened them yet, guys. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh well, you have your photograph in here, and then you have all the fill-ins, all the lines, and then all the words that you want to use on here. Dates, numbers, addresses, names, you name it. The signatures are on here are so delicate. I don't know how these stamp, guys. I'm hoping they stamp as sort of delicate as they are on here. I'm hoping. But this is absolutely the ultimate identity card uh, stamp. I believe so. Yeah. Normally I make identity card stamps. And I, and I take a little bit of this. A little bit of that. And I do from this and that. And combine every stamp that I have. But if you don't have the big collection that I have. This is the one to have. Also really love the fact that she put on seven on here. Yes. Because you know. Seven Plaza, and then seven zero nine is basically my name. Well, my online name. <laughs> so, yeah, it's made just for me. You can buy it, but it's made mainly for me. Okay, so I am doing. Yes, I am doing an identity card again, but I want to give a twist to it for sure. Yeah. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use some stuff from my um, from my kit. I think the Grunge. I also have a piece of coffee dyed paper. I'm going to use some of this. Some bits and bobs. I don't know. Let's find out. So, here's what I want to do. I want to make sort of a trifold type of thingy with the closure. Yes, from this piece of paper. I already cut off the, the white borders. It's so grungy and rusty and delicious. Um... And then on the inside is going to be the identity card and, and some other stuff that I do not know yet. Do I do not know yet? So um it's it's printed single-sided. Uh, I'm gonna leave it single-sided. I'm just gonna cover up the inside with other lovely papers. Do not know yet. Uh but for, I for sure want to use this very grungeous piece of um coffee dyed paper. I actually want to stamp the um, this part on here. Yeah. Okay. Now, normally I would start folding, but I want mine to be shorter. Yes. A smaller one about this size. Yeah. And this is three, three and three quarters or something like it. Uh, three and three quarters. So I'm going to have mine um, a little bit taller. So I want this to be four inches, four inches. Let me get up. A paper trimmer. Because, you know, I have those. Oh, why not use those? Uh, are you going to use... Them? I'm going to use the grunchiness up here. Yeah. There we go. Four inches. Well, it could be... I'm going to make it a little bit more. I'm going to do four and a quarter. Why? Because I just... I just want to. There you go. Okay, now on this paper, guys, if you don't use digitals, take a lovely piece of scrapbook paper or what have you and just start folding where I'm folding. There's this sort of line here and a line here. Of course I want to use this. <laughs> so I'm not even taking out my scoreboard. I'm just folding this in. This is going to be some type of closure. Yeah. Do I have a bone folder anywhere near me? I am not prepared. Can you tell? Not a bone folder. Actually, letter opener. Yes. And then I want this one. As well. There we go. Have a straight. That would be lovely. Straight herb, please. There we go. Yeah. And then we have this part. If I fold this in, will this work? I think so. I think so. I'm just going to fold this in. So when I designed it pap this paper, I did not take into consideration. And then this needs to fold and this needs to be this size. I just, you know, wanted to make something pretty. Well, grungy. Will this now fold in and this fold over? Yes, there we go. There we go. So we have uh, a this. This is going to be, you could also do it like this. I'm going to do it like this. This is going to be the closure. 
I'm gonna open it up. I'm going to have an ID card here and then something here, maybe with a pocket or whatever. Cool, it's already cool. It's already cool. Um, I think I want to cover the insides first, yeah? So I need, I'm going to do strips of paper and I'm also gonna use some washi tape in between. Before I'm going to glue stuff on, um, I want to put the some of the tape, and I think I'm going to go for this, uh, on the spines. But even before this, I am going to ink. I'm going to ink everything. I'm going to go very dark. I've taken out scorched timber, even the distress ink. So not um, the oxide, because the distress ink is actually darker. It's almost black. And that's what I really want. I just want to grunge it up. Yes, fantastic. Are we rounding corners? Are we rounding corners? Do we? Yeah, rounding corners. Not a lot, tiny bit. So I'm gonna go seven millimeters. Yes, that looks way nicer. Do we also want rounded corners here then? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing we do. We are making it up as we go <laughs> at this point. But you know, those projects are almost always fun. Spontaneous. Oh my gosh, this color is so dark. It's even darker than black soot. Not really possible, of course, because that's black, but I like it. Yes, everything inked. A little bit more here. Okay, I think I'm going to use these. Yes, on the... On the folds. Now, because they are on the folds... Uh, oops. I am going to add extra glue. There we go. I'm going to cut them later, guys. I'm adding extra glue because, uh, well, these are moving parts. Might do a little bit of distressing. Tone, I'm going to do some distressing with your tapes. Yeah. Just in between. Oh my gosh, it dries a completely different color. You know that? Yeah, it becomes um, grayish, greenish black. <laughs> grayish, greenish black? Yes, grayish, greenish black. It's art glitter love. You cannot move it about now. Yeah, it really does. I, I use um, scorched timber often. Uh, but not the distress ink. Oh, always the distress oxide. The ink just dries up a completely different color. Cool though. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. No, it's actually pretty cool. Alrighty then. Now, I need to carefully sort of refold them. <laughs> Yeah, it's not in the center, but that's quite alright because we're going to cover most of it with um, papers. This one, it was in the center. And this one, yeah. A little bit of distressing, because Tony told me, distress your little heart out. There we go. A bit of distressing. And then I'll also put a little bit of ink on. Yeah, I'm making a mess, but you know. It's supposed to be messy. Looks like rubbish now. I know, but it's going to be fantastic, guys. I promise. I promise. I'm also going to ink the, the, the other side. But I'm going to do that off camera because, you know, you've seen me ink already today. Now, I want to make sort of panels on here. And for this, I am going to use this page. 
it's just all sorts of loveliness. It looks like some uh, the inside of a passport with all the stamps, right? Yeah. This is going to be the part with the um, with the ID card. So we need a strippy here and then two strips here. I really want to use this because I think this is just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to have it on its side. Yes. I'm just going to mark it. And it can be the tiniest bit smaller because we put on the on the tape there. I'm going to cut it there and I'm going to cut it here. So I'm going to cut out a piece and uh, well, another one. I'm going to find another one from, from this page. So a piece here, a piece here and then a strippy. So I cut three pieces also rounded corners, of course, here on this one and on this one. Yeah. Ink all around them. Just gonna glue them on. Now this guys is printed on 160 grams, so it's not printed on copy paper. You could go a little bit heavier if you want to. Could make it sturdier. Also not using art glitter glue because I need to sort of try to position it. You will see a little bit of the tape in between. Yes. Now, if you don't use digitals, you know, take out a piece of paper. Do whatever you. I'm thinking about uh, maybe adding pockets on here or something. I don't know yet. I don't know. We're going to find out. Yes, this is going to be... Um, I'm going to stamp on this for the ID card. Lots of grunchiness. Lots of the grunge. Fantastic. Right. So, this is my inside. Yeah. This is my outside. This was the right setup. Yeah, it's going to be outside. I want to make sort of a closure. I'm thinking to make a closure with this. I have the page with all the key holes, thingies. Yeah, but it's white on the other side. So I really need to, you know, put something nice on it. And I have a piece of scrappy left here. So I'm just going to glue it on. Then I need to cut it again. I know I should have been smarter. Um. Mm, up, down. We don't care. We don't care. Could be up or down. Right? Okay. And let it dry for a bit and then I'm going to cut all around it. I will also cut out the actual keyhole. Um, that is a little bit tricky, but I have um, the Fisker's swivel knife somewhere. Again, loves. I am not prepared. This one. I'm going to use this one. Yes. I'm going to cut this one out and also ink all around it. I'm going to have this here. And then I need to think about how you're going to close. Probably I'm going to probably going to use um velcro dots or something completely different. Who knows? I'm going to but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. Yeah? Okay. Do I want I think I want to make pockets on here, but I do not know with what yet. I'm going to find out. Yeah, because of so many lovely papers. But in the meantime, let's stamp the actual ID card. Also, I need to audition a person because I need to have a photograph on here. Yeah, let me pick out a photograph. Then we're going to do a little bit of, well, a little bit of stamping. A lot of stamping because I want to use every stamp that is on there. So I found a candidate. Yes, uh, her name is apparently Edith because it says here, Edith something clark eat it well there you go eat it i did have to trim her a lot because she needs to fit here and now i'm going to distress her because you know that's all we like look at the grunge here and then eat it is like completely new unscathed no eat it no we're going to distress you yeah 
Oh, bubble tape. Yeah, for sure. Oh, look at this. Yes, happy accident. There you go. <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, not stain. Is there any ink on here left? Yes, a little bit. There we go, lovely Edith. Okay, this is our person. Now, I cut the paper to size. I need a big stamp block. But I have a big stamp block. Yeah, there we go. There's already rubbish on here. My gosh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm just taking out black lobbies. Yeah. Well, so there you go. <laughs> Been looking forward to this one. Oh my gosh, maybe I should, should not have already cut it. Well, there it goes. You can see much better now with all the lines. It's just so cool. And there are the tiniest words and numbers on the stamp. So I'm going to fill in everything. There we go. Yes, eat it. Fits perfectly. Yeah, I'm gonna distress her a little bit more here. A little bit more distressing, Edith. Sorry. I'm sorry, girl. There we go. Yes, needed grunge. Needed it to be grungier. Oh my gosh. Well, she looks amazing. I'm not going to glue her on because there there will be a high difference on the on the paper then. And uh well I want to stamp in stuff. I want to stamp in stuff. Yeah? Okay. First off, her name is Edith something, whatever. And uh signed on the bottom. Edith, sign here, please. There we go. Um ink. Excited. Oh, yes, 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 Stone, yes. <laughs> oh, you've done well, lovey, you've done well. Now, guys, that is a signature. This is how you do it. I love it. Absolutely love it. You are a brilliant woman. You need to make one with just signatures. <laughs> Only these. Yeah. Names, just names. Okay, let's let's have a look. What's on here? It says identity card it needs to be, you know, somewhere prominent. There, I'm not sure. Everything fits perfectly. Oh my gosh, it's just it's the best. It's just the best name, yeah, and surname. Um, <laughs> she from London or United States of America? This says signature, so the signature needs to make sense, guys. I'm gonna go here, signature. See there. I'm going to have a date on. Does, do I have anything that says date? Name? Number? Number? Date? Hmm. Maybe on the other stamp? There. I have this tiny little something. Don't know. Um, this is a perfect spot. I'm just going to put this here. <laughs> Completely different date. Don't care. Classification. Sure. Sure. Hmm. 
<laughs> Classification. Let's do a number in here. So far, Tone. Oh my gosh, my absolute favorite. Yes. Look at the, the sort of the guys. It's so thin. It is so thin. I could not even do this with, you know, a fountain pen or or what have you. Just love it. I'm going to have this one here, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. This says name and surname. I'm going to have it somehow. <laughs> These are so tiny. Get off my fingers. There you go. That, oh my. It's the tiniest. It's the, really, guys. It's the tiniest. Look how tiny. Oh my gosh. You need to be careful because you will lose these. Name and surname. I can't even see what is up or down. Surname. Big number. There you go. Oh my God, everything is sticking. Oh, um, these are the tiniest numbers here. I'm going to use these very, very tiny numbers over here. I am, I am sort of concerned that I will lose them. You can lose these. Oh my God just the greatest um okay here's the thing are we going to do united states of america there or london i'm going to do london are you yes because guess what tony not from the united states of america no so london it is my love london it is do we need anything more? There's this R here. <laughs> Does the R fit in here? If it doesn't, I'm gonna do it anyway. Well, actually it does fit. It does fit. Where's Edith? Edith's gonna go here. Oh my gosh. Do we need, we need a thing. We have a line here we could do Department. Oh, register. Register. Yes, that's not upside down. That's the right side. There we go. Register. It is. It is fantastic. I knew I would love it. Yeah. Well, it is going to go on here. I will uh, put in an eyelet, uh, guys, because that's what I just like to do with my ID card. But it is fantastic. I am not exaggerating. This is actually gewoon... Oh my gosh, that's Dutch. This is actually the best. The best ever. Okay, I'm going to glue this on, put an eyelet in, and then... Oh, a little bit of inking all around. And then put it in the actual sort of passport. Inked all around. Just gonna glue her on with glue stick. Oh, look at the back of the paper. This paper is so fantastic. Love. Yes, I forgot to scan it. I know. I didn't. <laughs> Was gifted to me. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. I love the the washi tape here on the side just works so well with well my digitals and this whole concept um i need to sort of 
straighten it out. There we go. Tony uses a brayer. Yeah, I have a brayer somewhere. Somewhere. Already, I'm already in love. Already in love. Yes, and then this goes here, here, here. Okay. Does it still close up? It does. Um, I put something on, on the other side. Cut out the keyhole. Yeah. And now I'm going to just glue it on. Could have used I, uh, well, you know, brass or something. Didn't. I'm not going to either. Just going to glue it on one side. And I think I want to use, um, this is just sort of decorative. It's just so lovely, right? Yeah. Works so well. But I want to add a label thingy. Um, I have this one. That's a bit much. I think I want to put this on the back here. Perfect. Sort of perfect. I am not going to... You could uh, put tiny brats in here. Are you? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to ink the holes here. Yeah? Will it be... A po I'm going to make it into a pocket. I don't think I'm going to put something in it. But, you know, you could put something in. Just this on the back. Yeah. You know what, guys? Uh, I think I'm going to make a label. You are? Yeah. I think I'm just going to make a label. One of these. And then, you know, put it on here. I might use a small one. I don't think a big one will fit. So... I'm going to do this one. I'm actually going to do some more stamping. I did have a scrappy piece. Is that big enough? Yes, it is. Yes. Told you. This is going to look distressed. Distressed and yummy. I'm going to put some lines in here. Does this fit? I think so, because, you know, Tone made it. Now, this is for the for the bigger label, so I need the smaller lines. I'll put these here. And then the swirly bit on the top. Really bit. And then, well, figure one. <laughs> figure. See, this one says date. Figure one. But I see date. I knew I had date somewhere. This says date, right? Where's Edith? Where's Edith? Where are you at, girl? There you go. I'm going to put date there. There you go. Oh my gosh. Love it so much. Oh, splatter stamp. Splatter stamp. We did not use splatter stamp. Um, ground espresso. Yeah, I'm going to go over this. And here, not that it needed because you know it's already so grungy. But guys, if you don't have a spat stamp now, you have a very lovely one, a very lovely one. Yeah. And then, what does it need here? Um. Well, I'm gonna take out this. Are we gonna do London again? I think London will look lovely on here. Figure one, London.
London. Yeah, this is how you make your own labels. I'm going to cut it out. Yeah, and then I'm going to add it here to the front cover. I'm going to make a couple of pockets. I want to make a pocket here. I'm going to have a, a diagonal sort of slanted pocket here. Yeah, and I'm going to have a pocket here and here on the bottom. Now for these two pages, I'm going to use a, a bit of the coffee dyed paper. And for this one, I'm just going to do uh, probably this. Yeah. Needs to be smaller. I'm going to take a piece off. How much am I taking off? And this part. Yeah. And then I'm going to do this. And probably this. How does this look? Great. Round the corner. Um, what did we do? Seven. We did seven. And there we go. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Here and here. Great, I might add a thing, do not know yet. Okay, then for this one, oh, look at the grunge, yes. Um, cut a little over an inch. Have it straight, that would be lovely. Yeah, this goes here. Pencil. Here. Oh, I'm using every bit of this scrumptious paper for sure. Yeah. They're all gonna go in my special scrap box. Special scraps. So it's going to be sort of a tuck that you can put a lovely card in or what have you. I might stamp on this. I already know for sure I'm going to stamp something on it. Because, you know, I have stamps. And I want to play with them. There you go. Delicious. And then, oh, look at this line here. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, guys? Um, I'm going to put tape over it. I have a lovely tape. Oh, shall we use tape? Oh, I'm going to use this. Oh, fantastic. You can only use this for Halloween. No, you don't. <laughs> you can just use it if you want to. Oh, that is just the coolest. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Really cool. Okay. So I want this and I want this.
love the tape. <laughs> Could be really Halloweeny, but it all could also be just lovely. I'm gonna look if I can perhaps you know distress it a little bit. With my distresser. The answer is yes, you can. <laughs> there you go it's just really cool first inking i think i want to use the same tape on here But I also want to stamp a little a little something on the bottom here. There you go. Let's go here. What do we want here? Well, uh, stamps. Do you want to do something crazy? Yeah, I'm going to take out this. <laughs> um, I really like this stamp, but it says potions, spells and charms. That's something that I cannot use. But I do read it off the top part. Or just, or just do the pharmacy. Do the pharmacy. Yes, I'm just going to do the farm. Let's just be safe and just do the pharmacy one. So apparently, Edith, pharmacist. <laughs> pharmacist since 1863. Well, she's not been around since 1863. But is there anything else on here that we could use? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gonna do the line. Gonna do a line. Yes, and I'm gonna stamp something on it. Please stay on here, thank you. Yeah, and what are we going to add? Bum bum bum. Oh, October 31st. That's There's no harm in that one. Oh, no, number 66090. There you go. Do we need something there? Old Old pump, old pumpkin in, yeah. The other one that I really liked. Look at the font on this one. So cool, right? Absolutely. We have this, we have this, we have this. Closure. We need a closure. So what we need now is a closure and boo boo tape. Yeah, poo tape on Edith somewhere. Um, do I still have a small piece left? Yes, I have this one. This goes quickly, guys. <laughs> yeah. I restocked. I have another one. And I think Mr. Holtz also restocked. Yes, there you go. Okay, so I'm just taking out uh, some Velcro dots for, for a closure. Oops, I'm going to put the woolly bit here. 
Yes. And then the non-woolly bit. Well, sorry, here. <laughs> yeah. Pulling it in. Oh, it needs, a, um, it needs a thing here. Yeah, I'm going to do a thing there. Here, here and here. Press it. And then carefully take these two apart. Yeah. You don't hardly see this. That's why I put this here and the woolly bit here. You could actually ink this, love, if you want this to be uh, in a different color. I'm not I'm not going to. This needs a something. What does it need? Well, tape. Are you going to put tape? Yeah. No, I'm not going to add color. I'm actually going to do this one again. Because why not? I'm not pressing hard with my knife, love. I'm just sort of stroking it. Here you go. See? Okay. Distressing. Thank you. Do we want a thing there? I don't know. I think we're done. Do we need to tape here? Yes. <laughs> I was thinking the red, white and blue would be my favorite. It, it probably will be my favorite, but for this project, this is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I absolutely love this one. The brown coat goes so well with the sort of rust on uh, on everything else. There you go, there you go, there you go. Does it need then? Uh, <laughs> do we need more? No, 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 no. Let, leave this as a standalone. Are we finished? Oh my gosh, I think we are. I need to trim this a little bit more. Well, look at the end result. That's... So what we made is a small little, well, I made, look at, look at my fingers. Yeah, I'm grungy, right? Grungy today. We made a small little passport ID card folio thingy. <laughs> yeah, it's just really cool. So this is the front. I love this. Sort of the closure, right? And then we made a lovely little label. We can make our own labels now. That's so, so cool. Yeah, love the tape. Open it up. There's Edith. I knew I was going to do a this today um but not the the rest of the part and i love stamps stamps are just amazing you have a pocket here put a lovely thing in a pocket here a pocket there and also one on the back yeah this is also uh, a pocket it's just amazing i absolutely love it love it guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it now i'm gonna link uh, a couple of things below very important, I'm just going to link Tony's channel because of several reasons. A, she's amazing, you need to go watch her. You probably are, but, you know, go watch her. She's doing um, uh, Halloween daily. She's doing, in October, everyday video. That's a lot of work, guys, believe me. And she will have all the links if you want to order the stamp sets. Yes, on her Etsy and such. Now, if you are within the Netherlands or the EU... You can order them also at Duoding. I would order them at Duoding because faster shipping, less um, uh, shipping costs, and also no taxes on them. Yeah? So order them at... And Tony's fine with this. <laughs> order them at, at Duoding. Now, uh, if you want my opinion, well, you need this one. This one for sure. This is going to be a must-have. Uh, this will probably be in my... You know, favorite craft supplies of 2024 for sure. And uh, also love, really love the labels. The Halloween, if you're into Halloween, the Halloween one is really cool. Um, but you know, in the Netherlands, we don't celebrate Halloween. But maybe it's your style, yeah? Uh, as for the papers, as for the papers, loves. It's the, the weird and the wonderful digital kit. Link below, it's on my Ko-Fi, yeah. But you know, use it with any other paper that you want oh yeah the um, the washi tapes unfortunately not available uh, in the netherlands so you need to order these from tony's um, etsy yeah 
buy all of them. <laughs> Especially this one. That's just fantastic. Okay, loves, that's it for today. Thank you so much, Stone, for sending me the, the stamps. And for making it especially for me. I love it. I love it. I'll be back again, lovies, this Friday with another project. No clue what. Let's find out. Hoping to see you then. Until then. Bye, guys.